Hey guys, so the weather's not been cooperating at all this week, couldn't get out there or do a video, but there has been a video in the library that's been really bugging me, um, it was uh, scrapping a, an old Marquette welder, there's a lot of good copper in it, but it's just way too long, too much fluff in it, and I just wanted to redo it, and... There, I know a lot of my subscribers haven't seen it. Um, so I thought, you know, that's a perfect video for me to redo and really share um, a good find. Something for you guys to look out for when you're out on your hunts. I paid 50 bucks. It came with the cables and everything. So it was definitely worth it. Um, but let's get at it. And uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now we've got this old Marquette farm welder and I can just imagine the copper that's in this thing. Um, it's not really a desirable item anymore for welding guys. So I don't see any harm in tearing into this and getting the copper out of it. Came with all those cables, um, big, big power cord. So, uh, watch me uh, strip her down. Thanks. So, I forgot to press the record button. That's like the very first rule of making a video is hit the record button. So, all it was was four flathead screws at the top. The top came right off. It's right there. Um, inside of it. I see a huge transformer, lots of cables. Look at that switch. Um, there should be all kinds of goodness in this thing. Um, and then I got a kick out of this. Warning, high voltage, safety first. If anybody has ever watched my channel, knows my policy is safety third. Just gonna quickly cut some of these wires again filled with copper my arch nemesis the flathead screw Ooh, that's got some weight in it okay let me grab my snippers show you guys this it's got some good weight to it some big nuggets look at that piece of copper there Power cables out. Nice big switch. Look at them big chunks of copper in there and some brass. Really nice. fast. Mm. 
man, that old steel is tough. I want you to check out that goodness. Look at all those. I believe they're brass lugs, but look at inside there. Look at all that copper. Every last one of them. That one's copper. That one is copper. Oh man, look at that. Even this band is copper. Look at that stuff. It's triple copper transformer. I just hit the mother load of copper. That is just amazing. I love it. And with me only paying 30 bucks for this, I'll probably get that in steel from the cores of the transformers. Well, maybe not. I'll probably get 20 bucks out of the steel. But that is amazing. To think that before I started scrapping, I threw out welders. So now I'm going to blow these transformers off this stand with my impact gun. Hopefully it works. Because everything about this thing is built tough. Transformer number one. Watch my feet. Done. Oh, we're gonna pull these little nuggets off of here. And I'm just going to confirm that it's brass. Look at that. Nice and brassy. And just, just look at the size of the copper in here. Look at this right here. Two big pieces of bare bright. This one here, four pieces of bare bright. This one, there's so much bare bright, you can't even see it. So, that's fantastic. So again, we're gonna use the impact. But it helps if you plug it in. These I'll have to put in a vise, take the nut off, and then we've got ourselves some nice brass. Um, that little bit of copper that's in there, oh, I might have to punch it up because there is, there is speckles of aluminum, so. I probably will have to punch that out. Really don't want to sell that much brass as dirty brass. Something I discovered after the last teardown is I filed two spots on these uprights for the transformers. And as you can see there, right here, brass. Same thing with up here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's nice brassy color inside the holes. Nice brassy color. That really, that really got me excited. So, so I'll be wearing a mask. Um, my, my buddy, Cruiser Mac, said that there is potential for that insulation on the outside to be um, asbestos. So I'll be wearing the mask 
and I'm actually standing downwind from it. Well, I'll be working upwind from it. You guys are downwind. Um, and I think after all I'll have to do is spray down the driveway with water, the garage door with water and everything should be fine. So let's get at it. So I'm gonna start off with a small disc because I don't like wasting this. And I'll be turning, make sure you turn down the volume when you're wearing earbuds because it's gonna get loud. Boy, this stuff is tough. Just tune up my guess. <clears throat> Look at that. That's big. So it's unwrapping very easy. And I think if I unwrap that all, look at that. I don't believe there's any varnish because it's it's been wrapped in this kind of electrical tape. Um Definitely going to want to find out what you guys think. Am I going to be able to sell that as bare bright once I unwrap that tape? That's the first pile. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't get something I can weigh this with so we can see how much the top of this transformer is. My container weighs one pound, seven ounces. So now let's weigh this. That's 13 pounds, 14 ounces so the first coil is 12 pounds 7 ounces one coil yeah there's a little bit of insulation um but that gives you a really good idea um depending on what I, if i sell for number one bare bright right uh you think about i believe around here it's Four fifty or five dollars a, a pound depending on the day for that stuff I say uh, number one or bare bright because that there's no coating on that it's just the electrical tape all on why not and I think I can get away with number one for sure because it's really not wire is it it's hard to say what they classify that as but even number one, why not?
That is copper. It's just the way the light was hitting it. So all this is still copper. This will definitely be number two. Because there's a coating on it. Plus there's the goo from the insulation. So we will weigh that separately. Let's weigh the second coil. First of all, we'll do the number two. Container is still 1.7. So we've got 6.3. So we'll call that uh, 4.75, I'm thinking around, of number two. And so that one is 21.11. So one three quarters off of that. Um, let's see, if, how about if we just call that 20 pounds? So that's awesome. So now there's this heavy insulated stuff. So 2.9, take off 1.7. Eh, it's probably a, a pound, three quarters of a pound there. So now we have one last transformer to do, one more coil, and uh, let's have some fun. So our container is still 1.74 pounds. Uh, so I'm gonna call that at five pounds, even though it says 513. Um, this stuff here, I'm just gonna clean up and uh, sell as insulated copper, some 60% and some 40%. I just do not want to cut this and this stuff is so baked on it's not going to be worth stripping. I'm going to just have nothing but headaches. So what we have left is um, to pull off those bars and uh, strip those cables. This is the, the cable that came with the welder it's 8.52 uh, pounds and the container is 1.74 pounds so we'll call it six and three quarter pounds um, of number two copper um, depending on the area you're looking at four to five dollars a pound um, Okay, next up we've got insulated 40% wire. Um, at 2 pounds 14 ounces. I don't know, whatever you want to classify this little box for weight. Maybe quarter pound, half a pound. So we'll call it half a pound. Um, so say two and a quarter pounds of 40%. We're going to put on our clean brass. Here's another piece. This is clean, this is clean. 
So clean brass at five pounds, 11 ounces. And then next we have dirty brass. I'm calling it dirty because there's solder in it. These little lugs, I don't know what the scrap yard will be that nasty considering it's filled with copper they might let it go as clean brass it depends on your scrap yard uh, these nuts were so dirty brass we got a dollar to a pound oops i found more So of dirty brass, we got one pound, nine ounces. Um, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, you know, all, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you soon with a new project.